The vampire we know, the man with the widow's peak, the aristocratic count. Eternal, forever young, sexual and seductive, isn't real. He was invented to sell books. In fact, the word vampire itself isn't very old and only spread across Europe in the 18th century. But the literary invention has real ancestors that looked very different and went by very different names. A class of creatures known as revenants. Animated corpses, mindless, lumbering, vampiric ghouls, sustained not by drinking blood from the neck, but by gorging on living flesh. And somehow, unlike the fictional vampire we know today, these revenants were a very real part of 16th century life. But what exactly did people believe these creatures were? And why were they thought to be real? The skull Matteo has dug from the grave may hold the answer. Even the tiniest details Matteo can extract from the time-ravaged remains could help us understand this ancient evil. This will be one of the most thorough forensic investigations ever conducted of a true vampire corpse. But corpses decay. Even in modern forensic cases, recovering evidence is a race against the clock. The vampire of Venice is 500 years old. Much of this evidence has been ravaged by time. But at the molecular level, some clues may still exist. With the vampire tucked safely within a black box, Matteo heads to the biology department at the University of Rome, Tor Vergata. This is our vampire, forse ora. Bello, molto ben conservato. Sì, questo sì. This is the laboratory of molecular anthropologist Professor Olga Ricards. She will attempt to do what may be impossible extract the vampire's DNA. DNA fingerprinting is a mainstay of modern forensics and can reveal almost everything about an individual. It contains our complete genetic blueprint. But with every passing second after death, the chemical bonds that encode that data break down. And 500 years of decomposition could mean that no meaningful clues to the vampire's identity remain at all. But Matteo has asked Olga to try to isolate enough DNA from the bones to establish the vampire's ancestry. The answer could help us understand long-lost European vampire beliefs. <laughs> 